Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to One Season Wonder with Lil. Uh, today we're taking on Strasbourg. As you can see, we are actually fourth in the table after nine games. Uh, so let's show you how we've got here. So after the first game, we took on Dijon. Uh, they went 1-0 up just after half-time with Kanate getting through on goal and popping it home past the keeper. But we did manage to level things up soon after in the 72nd minute, uh, where you can see here Jeremy P.A. comes down the right-hand side, manages to cut it back into Aaron Ramsey, who plays it through to Timothy Weir to get the goal. Next up, we took on Angers and we had a hell of a start to the game. In the 19th or 20th minute, the ball got played back to Yazici from the edge of the box and he scored an absolute screamer. Then coming into the next goal, only a minute later, we saw Sanchez look to lay it off again to Zajici, who played it into PA, through to Ramsey. And another lovely little finish, making it 2-0 in the first 20 minutes. Then five minutes later, Yilmaz got a goal from the penalty spot to make it 3-0. Now, just as the second half got underway, Buffal came forward with D playing it off to Dumbia for Angers. And the ball got fired across and Alawi managed to get the goal. At this point, I was a little bit nervous. There, and there was reason to be. Buffal coming down the left-hand side is causing issues galore for us on that side. Managed to get past Font and plays it into Aloe to make it 3-2. Next up was taking on Rene. And this was an interesting game. Uh, we seem to sit quite deep in this game. Changed to a 4-3-3. And some long balls up to Jonathan David created havoc for them. And he was able to fire us into the league lead straight away and then the second time as well a same combination of Aaron Ramsey playing it up to David who scored in the 55th minute to make it 2-0. We then had a very boring game against Nantes where we did end up winning a penalty Aaron Ramsey with that went to VAR and they did decide it was to be a penalty and we did get to take it Jonathan David took the penalty hitting the post and they were able to clear and it stayed 0-0 for the game. Next was Brest, away from home. In the, All the goals came in the last 10 minutes of the game, with Brest going 1-0 up from a corner. But we did manage to turn things around with three absolutely incredible strikes. The first one here, Font playing it into Sumerie, who came off the bench and absolutely fires it in from the edge of the box to make it 1-0. Then a second goal came from Yazici driving forward, playing it into Sanchez to Ramsey, who then laid it back to Sanchez, who again, similarly to Samari, it did get fired in from the edge of the box. And then one more time in the 90th minute, Ramsey drove forward, was able to skip past a couple of players, got a little bit lucky with a few challenges, but and again, fires it straight at the keeper, who maybe should have done a little better. We then took on the big boys, PSG. Uh, it was a game to forget for us, really. It didn't start well. Ten minutes in, Di Maria got into the box, swiveled and popped it into the bottom left-hand corner. Next was Marquinhos coming forward after a clearance. Lovely little interchange from the players and a ball through and Di Maria got his second from a Neymar, Neymar assist in the first 20 minutes. And then once again, a lovely bit of interchange of football, short passing, Di Maria involved again, but it's Verratti into Neymar this time, who popped into the bottom right-hand corner. Since Etienne was up next for us, and we had a great start to the game, with in the 60th minute, Ramsey getting a ball across to Yilmaz, who tucked it home from very close range, uh, originating from the throw-in. We then went 2-0 up, with Selic getting a ball across to Sanchez, who was able to keep hold of that, playing it into Okone, who fired in on his left foot, uh, did get a ricochet off CC. And it was an own goal. But the lead didn't last. Five minutes towards the end of the game, we kind of capitulated. capitulated and Buda Booz was able to get the ball across to Hamuma, who put it away for 2-1. And that really fired him up as only a three minutes later did they come forward again with Buanga playing a ball over the top to Hamuma again. And he rifled it home to make it 2 all. We then had our first game in the Europa League, taking on Mitchelland. They scored a penalty in the 26th minute, and it didn't get any better for us from there. 
with a lovely little bit of passing play from them. And they were able to fall to the striker, Bisgard, who fired at home, making it 2-0 in our first match. Then looking to bounce back in the league, we did manage to get a win 3-2 in the next game. Uh, it was a very comfortable game to start with. Within the first two minutes, Yilmaz firing in from inside the box to make it 1-0. Then on the 25th minute, Weir was able to swip the ball out to Selic, who then managed to get the ball back across the box and Ramsey volleyed it home from just outside the six yard area. And again, three nil up, Danny Rose received the ball out wide, playing it down the line to Weir, who again got the ball across and Neil Maz managed to tuck away after a little deflection. But again, we started to capitulate in the game with a towel coming forward, getting that ball across the box. And Guthrie able to nod it down to Rennie Adelaide, who fired from the edge, and which gave Nice a bit of hope going into the second half. And it was in the second half where Schneidlin cleared the ball forward for Kasper Dolberg over the top of our defence. With no one anywhere near him, he was able to fire it home, making it 3-2, but we did end up holding on. And finally, in our last game, we did have a 3-0 loss against by a Leverkusen with them coming forward with Bailey initially getting a goal in the first two minutes. It was a bad, bad start at home and it didn't get any better from there with Schick coming forward, taking it easily past the two centre-halves, running straight through on goal and was never going to finish He's, he was always going to finish his dinner from there with a lovely little dink as well. And then there was a third. In the 86 minutes, they finished things up with a ball from Aaron Guise through to Demari Gray, who rifled it home, making it 3-0. And there we have it. So that is where we're at in the league. Uh, our Europa, group, Europa League uh, competition so far has been dire. We've had two games <laughs> conceding five goals and not scoring in either of them. Uh, we've also got young boys that are in our group as well as obviously Leverkusen and Michelin, as you saw. Uh, hopefully, we'll start to turn things around. And fingers crossed, Strasbourg will be a game that we can get a win in. Uh, so there are a few transfers to make you aware of. Inns, we managed to get hold of two of those players that we did mention previously. Uh, those being Danny Rose coming in. Uh, how much was that for? 2.4 million in the end for him. He's come in, done pretty well on that left-hand side. Certainly a player that we needed for a left back. Um, and we also managed to bring in Nicholas Nkulu, who's looked pretty decent. Hasn't played too many games for us with only two starts. But he, he's in the side uh, and he'll be certainly a good backup player to have to cover Botman and Font. But there you have it. We will jump straight into the game now with Strasbourg. Hopefully get the win uh, and get very competitive with it. Uh, I'll make sure I pick the side and then we'll take a look. All right. So I realized that I had already got the team ready. And the reason for that was because both Jose Font and Botman are both out suspended along with Yazici as well who've been who's been very very good for us this season so we are a little short staffed on the bench um, but that's okay I think we've still got every opportunity to be able to kind of dictate the game we have moved to a control possession style uh, it, away games we've often gone for the 4-3-3 and then at home the 4-2-3-1 changing to that if necessary uh, so we've we've kind of got a bit of versatility I'm hoping that our wingers can really perform a little better because they haven't been that great at this stage. Yilmaz has scored a few goals and Jonathan David and Aaron Ramsey's obviously been banging a few in as well. So we've got a few players in there who's who's managed to kind of create some stuff. Uh, Silic is on the bench because he's a little bit tired and I want to save him for the Europa League game. So Jeremy PA is in there with Danny Rose at left back. But let's get straight into things and hopefully get the game going. Positive mentality to start with. We are the better side and fingers crossed we'll get the win that we need. So there they are playing a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow formation. A bit of a diamond in there. Hopefully our width of Weir and Okone on either side with PA and Rose bombing down those wings can really cause a bit of havoc for their fullbacks, forcing them back. You can see we're fourth in the table. We could go up to third if Monaco don't get the win and we manage to today. Uh, not likely because obviously Monaco is still a very, very good side. But if we can get top three, I'd be very happy uh, with kind of the squad we've got and the changes we've made. I don't think we were ever going to reach the um, pinnacle of winning the league with PSG in Football Manager. It's just a bit ridiculous how good they are. But um, 
with with Lille, I'm hoping that we can get at least top three. That's my my personal target, uh, and we'll have to see how we get on in the other competitions as well. But Danny Rose is bombing forward in the first three minutes. Back to Weir, who's looking to take on his man. He's caused a bit of problems when he's come on the pitch, so I'm I'm am very willing to start him uh, over Bamba and Akone where needed. Uh, he has been the player to really force things to happen, which uh, um, uh, unfortunately Akone and Bamba haven't done. Uh, but their Strasbourg is now coming forward. Labou with the ball. Can we get any pressure on them to create a bit of an issue and, and try and win that ball back? It's not, not quite working as of yet. Uh, Mitrovic on this side. Can we get a challenge in? Get a foot in and win that ball back. They've managed to play it back to Tomasin. Uh, they're keeping the ball very well and they've got runners off him as well. Pritchich into Suzoko. Again, keeping the ball, plays it back. But can Yilmaz, he does manage to get that ball in. That pressure on the centre half who's made the mistake of smacking against him. And Yilmaz doesn't make any mistake when he's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. Makes it 1-0, 13 minutes down. It's a fantastic start to the game for us. Uh, they weren't able to break us down and we were able to counter very easily once Yilmaz managed to get that block in and run through on goal. Uh, he, he didn't need to utilise any pace really, which he doesn't really have. Um, to get away from the defenders. He had a bit of an advantage there with a few yards head start. But there it is. It's 1-0 and we're looking good. So Strasbourg coming forward again, coming up to the half an hour mark. Uh, Sizoko with the ball out wide to Gilbert. Can we keep this from coming into the box? That's the question. We can't. My nan. My nan? <laughs> my nan. Me. I don't even know how to say his name. I should probably look that up. Uh, but he came out and um, palmed it away. Falls straight to a Strasbourg player. But he was, luckily it came straight into his grasp. And then we go half time then. We're, we're looking good. It's all very, very positive. Kone has still yet to really perform. He's It's quite disappointing really because he's, he's really not been great. Um, maybe we'll bring on Jonathan David out there. Uh, and see if he can make anything happen instead because Akoni's just been poor uh, and it's been really disappointing. But start the second half, hopefully things improve on that front um, and we keep the kind of high pressure up on their team. They're looking like they're getting more and more in the game, so we want to make sure that doesn't happen. We seem to drop off at the end of games, as you've seen earlier on in the video. So hopefully that doesn't happen too much and we're able to stick to the 1-0 win with only a few minutes to go now only 10 minutes let's see if we can bring anyone else on to get some fresh legs on the pitch Andre could come on for Samere uh, that's absolutely fine and Sheka could come on for Renato Sanchez I think and we'll just swap those over so Ramsey can do a bit more of the running but the ball's come out to Gilbert and he's shot a great save by the keeper I mean we were busy making tactical changes and they've <laughs> caused us a bit of a problem at the back with a switch of play but we managed to hold on and we've got a throw in now in their half Rose throws it in Sizoko heads clear but can Andre get there he does Plays out wide again to Rose. Andre again inside. He's got plenty of time on the ball. There's no one really pressing him too much. Aaron Ramsey then manages to flick it outside to Rose. who looks to get that cross in, but Gilbert's able to block that. And now Strasbourg comes away with the ball. It's lofted down the wing. Diallo receives it. They've kept hold of this very well. I thought that might have gone out, but he was able to keep it in. And they do come forward. This could be one of the few chances left. A ball over the top. A Jukwe. A ball over. Tries to lob the keeper. Doesn't quite come to what he was planning. And it stays at 1-0. They have absolutely been dominant. Let's go a bit more cautious going forward. Um, no point in risking it too much. Especially with zero minutes left. There it is. It's 1-0. I'll take the win. I think we could have done a little better. Um, but we are now sitting in third place. Monaco yet to play today their 10th game. So we'll have to wait and see if we stick around there. But there you have it. Uh, it's a 1-0 win against Strasbourg. We'll come back just before January probably to kind of show you how we've gone again. Um, but thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you next time.